Hello everyone, this is Mr. Daz Reacts. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're going to be reacting to Chris Tucker's funniest Michael Jackson stories. I got this from the Laugh Planet's uh, channel. So if you want to see the original video, I'll leave it in the description down below. Um, you know, I really find Chris Tucker very, very funny and he has very interesting stories to tell, especially the one I'm about to react to, Michael Jackson. So um, if you like this video, just make sure that you like, subscribe, comment for any suggestions and of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. So without further ado, let's react. Miss Michael, man, I miss you. Me too, me too. Michael was king, man. Real life, true life king. Y'all see me in the video? I was in the, one of his videos. Y'all see me in Rock My World? I couldn't believe I was in that video. I kept messing up the video looking at Michael. I was like, God damn, I can't believe I was in this goddamn video. <laughs> Michael was getting mad. Chris, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Chris, look straight. What the hell are you doing? Messing up my video, Chris. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't believe I'm in the video with you, man. Chris, believe it. Chris, believe it. Shit. <laughs> messing up my video, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and Michael was just so nice, man. You'd be around him and you'd just get happy, man. He would, yeah. he would give you anything if you liked something. Like, I was just complimenting a, a flat screen TV he had, and he gave it to me. I was like, Michael, give it. <laughs> I didn't want the TV. <laughs> but then the black came out of me. I started liking everything after that. I said, Michael, I like that Rolls Royce. That's a bad Rolls Royce. Not the old one, the new Rolls Royce, right there. He was like, you like it, Chris? I said, yeah, I like it. He said, you sure you like it? I said, yeah, I like it. He said, well, you better go buy one, because I ain't giving you nothing. <laughs> I gave you a TV. Damn. <laughs> Michael was so cool, man. Michael changed my name. I didn't even say nothing. He started calling me Christmas and shit. <laughs> First, I didn't know who he was talking about. I didn't know who he was talking to. He was like, hey, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Michael talking to? Michael, I'm talking to you, Chris. I'm talking to you. Your name sounds like Christmas. It's beautiful, Chris. <laughs> Reminds me of Christmas. Christmas trees. <laughs> presents. <laughs> fireplaces. It's beautiful, Chris. You should keep it, Chris. <laughs> he convinced me. I'm like, it do sound kind of good. Sure. <laughs> Christmas Tucker. Okay, Christmas Tucker. <laughs> sound pretty good. We'll keep it for a little while. Uh. <laughs> We went up to Neverland. Michael had it cold. Michael had it cold, but Neverland was really like Neverland. You go there, Michael had big golden gates. You go through the gates, the music come on. He be like, la, 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 la. You're like, God damn. <laughs> this really is Neverland. I don't never ever want to leave. <laughs> It'd be fly too. Michael had us ride on a little train to the house. This is some shit right there. Michael got a train in his house. We get to the house, man. Michael be sitting in Cobra like Michael Colleone. He be sitting in the living room. His people get your bags. You ain't got to worry about that. Michael be saying, how are you? How are you doing? He be sitting there talking. All of a sudden, something <clears throat> magical would happen. <clears throat> like two giraffes just walk by the window. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Michael, was that two giraffes just walk by the window? No, it was three. It was three giraffes. <laughs> in public anywhere with Michael Jackson? Because what's that like? You know what? We go to the, mov the movies sometimes. We go to the movies. Uh, both of us like going to the movies. So we go to the movies, but it's hard because Michael got to sneak in the movie right before it starts. So Michael come in there like with a ninja suit on. He's hiding and <laughs> all black. All of a sudden, I'm sitting there. I'm like, Where's Michael? And then I turn around. He's like, hey, Chris. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been here? About five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Sorry, Chris. And then, you know, we sneak in, all this stuff. He sneaks in at the last minute. He does right. all this stuff. Security brings us popcorn and stuff. You know, I'm like, he's trying to hide, you know. Right, right. You doing, Mr. Jackson? You know? Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, we watching the movie. He's the loudest person in there. Really? You know? Yeah, he's watching the movie like, hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Michael, would you shut up for 
people see you? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's yeah. funny. Chris. Yeah. <laughs> and then Prince is, Prince is somewhere else. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. He he! That sounds like Prince in movie band, too! <laughs> Yeah, she came with me, too. Wow, that's true. <laughs> Michael was cool, man. We hang out with Mike. Michael liked rap. Like, he liked that 50 Sit song in the club. He liked the beat, so he'd be jamming to the beat. We'd be riding oh, in the club. I haven't heard that track Michael for quite some time. Beat. He'd be like, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Michael be getting down. He'd be playing back. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All of a sudden, you know, it's cool until he starts saying the words. That's when it sounds crazy. He's like, you see me in the club with a bottle for a bud. <laughs> Michael, Michael, no. Michael, no. <laughs> Don't, don't sing no. the words, Chris. I love that song, Chris. Doesn't sound I right, love Michael. That beat. I love it. <laughs> Whatever happened to pimps, man? What if Michael Jackson was a pimp? Should be him and Tito be riding around in the oh, Cadillac. Oh, remember and shit? this. Slow down, Tito. Slow down, Tito. <laughs> Slow down, Tito. Damn. <laughs> Sometimes he'd be going around the place. He'd be doing a song. Like, I'm like, what the hell was that? I said, Michael, is that you? No, no. Did you hear that? I didn't hear nothing. I didn't know what that was. I thought you did it. I don't know who did it. One time I called him. He's like, I said, Mike, I saw you. I knew it was you. I'm sorry, because I love Rick Ross. I love him. But I spent a lot of money uh, to see Michael. Really? I, I, yeah, because I took a private plane to New York. I took a private to plane him. to New York because Michael told me, you know, when you finish Rush Hour, come see it. So I knew he was there. I called him before I went because I was going there for something else. Yeah. And I kept leaving a message, Michael, I'm in New York. If you're around, I'd love to see you. And I didn't hear anything. So I got on that hmm. same private plane, flew back to Los Angeles. You know, I was done. As soon as I landed, I got a message from Michael Jackson's office like, Michael, I want to meet you tomorrow in New York City. I was like, what? Don't tell me to go back. And I went right up to the captain's seat, and I said, take me back no to New way. York. Oh they said, well, is this going to cost? I said, I don't care. You got my credit card. Just take me back. <laughs> Man, I took. I, I, probably, I, probably, I was in an expensive plane, too. I don't know what it was, G4 or whatever. I yeah. said, take me back. I'm about, I didn't tell what I was it. doing. It was Jackson. worth it, man. Every of course dollar, it's worth that's it. how we became friends. That's the king of like, pop. I don't know how much it was, but it was crazy. It flew me all the way back. The guy said, cool. The pilots went right back up in the air. They had enough time. They could fly uh, some more. So that's how, that's, why, that's how I met Mike. Was he really as giving as everybody says he was? Oh, yeah, he was. He was. He was. Because he was like, any time that I wanted to go to Neverland, like, you know, I would just call him, Mike, I want to go. I want to come up to Neverland. He said, of course. Sure, <laughs> yeah, come on yeah. up. I'm not there. I'm in Russia. But go on up. <laughs> the chefs are still there and everybody's there. Go, go. One time I did something real cool with Michael, though. I went over Barry Gibbs' house from the Bee Gees. You know, Barry Gibbs. I was like, damn, this is fly. We was watching the Oscars over Barry Gibbs' house, Bee Gees. And we was sitting there and all, and hanging out and stuff. And, and I said, God damn, I want to see a Barry Gibbs and Michael Jackson. And all of a sudden, mm. both of them started singing. They were singing, How Deep Is Your Love? I said, God damn. That's a classic. That's Michael Jackson and Barry Gibbs singing right What's in front of me. What's a classic? I don't believe that shit. It was just me and a dog looking. The dog was even surprised. Like, damn, this shit is fly. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you see this shit? Yeah, I see this shit. <laughs> Michael Jackson Barry Gibb, sure. So they start singing. Michael starts singing first. Man, I never heard him sing live before. He was like, how deep is your love? How deep is your love? Huff, I really need to know. Cause we're living in a oh. world of fools. Breaking us down. And we all should let it be. And the world should be And the bear came in I believe in you I see them down the door And shot the weed That's not the words And then I got caught up and came in Come to you on a side He said you know I can And you know it And Michael was like Chris no Chris no Chris no Oh, my goodness. What are you doing, Chris? Gary, I'm 
sorry, Derek. Hey. <laughs> I said, Michael, I'm sorry, I got caught up. No, Chris, no. Stick with the jokes, Chris. No, what are you doing? Oh, my. <laughs> Stick with the jokes. Yes, I don't even remember the song. You should see, see him. How do you sing Michael Jackson? Uh, you, I sing all the time. You do yeah. sing Michael Jackson. Dangerous! <laughs> God, it's so dangerous! You and Michael, Thank you. that's an odd choice of songs, of all the Michael Jackson songs, to go with Dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one that bought Dangerous. Do oh. you, you keep in touch with Michael? Do you, you talk to him regularly? I see him every a blue moon, because he's all over the world. Sometimes we bump into each other when we're traveling. Like, we bumped into, last time we was in London, and I knew Michael was in the hotel, because everybody was outside yelling, Michael! And I was mad because my window, they was yelling in my window. I said, Michael's on the other side of the hotel. Now I got to get some sleep. I got an interview in the morning. Have you introduced yeah. Jackie to Michael yet? I don't know. Have Michael, I don't know. Michael want to meet Jackie, though. He always now, said he, me, I want to meet Jackie. He did too. call me. He, oh, he did. He did call me one time. Really? I was, I was just sleeping. He called my, my, my sec, uh, assistant to answer the phone. Uh, can I have a chip? Who's speaking? This is Michael. My, my, my assistant. Michael, what? Michael Jackson. Okay, I'm sorry that that it. Uh, then my hang up the phone. Then afternoon I wake up because we're in a night show. Then I wake up. Uh, you know, Big Brother. They call me Big Brother. You know who? Michael Jackson. I said no. <laughs> yes, Michael Jackson. Go. I said, why did you call me? Why did you call me? <laughs> he talked so low. He probably thought he was somebody was playing on the phone. Yeah, yeah well, it could have been. Michael. The, that could have been the case. Speak <laughs> up, Michael Jackson. Ritter, beat it. Wow. Oh wow. Well. I don't know about you guys, but that was was very, very funny. You know, Chris Tucker always has some very interesting stories to tell about any celebrities that he meets, especially Michael Jackson. And just as he said earlier, and I, I miss him, man. And I do miss him too. You know, he is the king of pop for a reason. You know, breaking so many records. Um, one of my favorite track from Thriller is um beat it and um obviously one of my other favorite tracks from uh bad is dirty diana those two are one of my favorite iconic tracks everything else is good but those are the two that i like listening to the most so but yeah chris tucker is a, a very funny comedian and a good actor as well don't really see him that much but hopefully we'll get to see him more in the future especially next year so guys thank you very much for joining me and me reacting to chris tucker's funny stories about michael jackson if you want to see more of my reactions to various videos if you have any suggestions please leave a comment um make sure you like uh, subscribe and click on the notification bell and of course follow me on instagram and twitter so thanks again and have a good day Take care. Bye-bye.